Good day everybody, Brent from 77 Media here, bringing you our next episode of Cat Thoughts, where I am cutting up our last live stream into small bites for you to enjoy. So with no further ado, here's Cat Miller. I was thinking that uh, right now a lot of people have been a little bit nervous about immunity and staying well, and there were a few things that I wanted to say up front on that. B is your switch word for being in peace and wellness. And so if you can't think of anything else, B is amazing to work with all by itself. And I love B, 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 B. We have had so many success stories from people who have done that, especially with young children who are crying and crying and crying. Personally, I've experienced that with a grandson who uh, was inconsolable at about eight months of age. And just doing that and continuing for a few minutes, it calmed him down and he was good. We also have immunity, which is about being protected from accident, harm, maintain wellness. Avalon is about inherent timeless wellness and peaceful abundant living and maintain is to take on responsibility now when you want to be well you also need to be responsible for your wellness if you are trying to maintain your wellness and you're eating a lot of sugar, sweets, drinking sodas, all of those things are impeding your path to wellness. You want to make sure you're maintaining yourself. I wanted to give you a list of a few things that are important for your immune system to help keep your immune system in tip top shape. One is get your sunshine. And when I say sunshine, I mean outdoor sunshine. Sun coming in through the window. That's great for uplifting your mood. But outside, you've got, as my daughter calls it, your vitamin D makers exposed (laughs) to the sun. Your, Your bare skin. She pulls her pant legs up and says, got my vitamin D makers going right now. So getting sunshine is one of the most important things when it comes to maintaining your health. You also want to be sure you have omega-3, your essential fatty acids in your diet, because those are what enable the body to make the vitamin D. So Vitamin C is also important for immunity. And so keep vitamin C up. I personally prefer a powder over chewables or anything like that because your chewables, they're going to have either sugar or a sugar substitute. And the sugar substitutes, I personally think are worse than sugar itself. So you want to do that and then water 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 oh you hear cats talk about water all the time water is so important because when you are trying to get rid of toxins you've got to have the river flowing if you are not drinking enough water your body doesn't have everything it needs to get rid of all of the toxins. And so be sure that you are drinking plenty of water. One of the recommendations I always make, and this came out of total body modification and natural healing, two of the techniques that I, healing techniques that I use. And the recommendation is for every 50 pounds or 23, three kilograms of body weight, drink one quart or one liter of water plus two more 
at the end of the addition. And so say you weigh around or just over 100 pounds, you're talking 2 plus 2 is 4. So 4 pounds, or excuse me, 4 quarts or 4 liters, because that's the same conversion of water a day. It may sound like it's way, way too much, but your body will adjust. You don't overflow it by drinking way more than your body can handle at one time. In fact, you have a safety mechanism that when you try to overload your body with too much water at one time, you're, you get kind of a sickly feeling. Don't override that. Just drink the water frequently at several swallows at a time, several times uh, in an hour. You also, in order to encourage yourself and remember, every time you take that last swallow of water, refill the cup now, the bottle, whatever. So water, water, water. And I already talked about avoiding the sugars and avoid grains as much as you can as well. Sprouted grains are good because that turns them into vegetables. But it's also important to have protein in your diet and fresh produce, your fresh fruits, your fresh vegetables. You can juice your vegetables, but note that when you juice fruits, fruit juice is virtually 100% sugar. So you may want to skip the fruit juices and eat the whole fruit because it has everything. It has all the nutrition for you. So those are just a few things. I figured it would be a good idea to start off giving you a few hints about some things to do to help with your immunity. Hello again, everybody. Brent from 77 Media here. Thanking you for watching our episodes and we hope you are finding them useful and enjoying them. Please like and comment and let us know if there's something that you would like us to talk about. We try to review the comments and respond when we can. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.